Hi everyone, hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to the channel. So the silver spot prices took a massive dip yesterday. We've been seeing it going up over the first two weeks of August, but it's been steadily uh, dropping, uh, moving on a downward trend during the later part of the month. In fact, uh, the prices now, at the time of this video recording, is even lower than the last recorded low on the 26th of July of this year. That was the last time that I bought silver here in Singapore, and while I was happy that silver prices was trending upwards in August, I just couldn't waste the opportunity with the prices so low now. So with that in mind, I went ahead to uh, visit a bullion star of Singapore again, and I added another 6 more ounces of the Malayan rounds to my stack. All these Malayans here are from Sichuan Tianzi, and they are the lowest premium Malayans that I have since I started stacking them over this last year. For this video, I'm going to get these Malayans into the capsules, and I'm going to add them to my stack. Then we're going to end this video by talking a little bit about the silver spot prices and the trend for this Malayans during my stacking journey uh, this past year. But before we get into this, uh, please leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content, and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Okay, uh, through the magic of video editing, uh, here are all the 6 Malayan rounds in the capsules. I would have preferred to have the RMC rounds. Unfortunately, uh, Bullion Star didn't have those uh, in stock, and the only ones that I have were these uh, Sichuan Tianzi. I'm quite happy to have this. So here in the background, you can see that I have my monster box of silver out, and right over here, we have the tube of my Malayan rounds. As a quick recap, I used to have 17 rounds in this tube. Uh, there are only 16 rounds now because I gave one away for my recently concluded 750 subscribers giveaway contest. So I'm going to add uh, the new uh, 6 rounds to this stack. And we're going to have a look at how many uh, RMC rounds and how many Sichuan Tianzi rounds I have in my stack. Alright, uh, with the addition of these 6 new Malayans, I now have a total of 22 Malayans in my stack. Of these, uh, 6 are the RMC emitted rounds. While the other 16 are from Sichuan Tianzi. Alright, uh, with the counting out of the way, let's talk a little bit now about my Malayan buying history over this last year. Uh, let's start with this table over here. And on it, uh, you can see that I started my Malayan buying journey in November of 2021. And currently, we are in September of this year. Uh, there was a break in between the buying uh, between uh, December to June of 2022 uh, because uh, silver exploded and reached a high of 36.50 of Singapore dollars in March of this year. From this table here, we can also see that silver has been on a downward trend and in my opinion, uh, it's a great opportunity for me to add more weight to my silver stack. Uh, we can also see in this table that uh, while silver has been dropping in value, the premium asked by Bullion Star of Singapore has been uh, fairly consistent, which is around uh, 6 Singapore dollars. From this table, uh, we can see that the highest price that I paid for the Milan rounds was uh, $36.85, while the lowest price that I have on record is uh, $30.70. My previous uh, dollar cost averaging for my Silver Milan round was $34.25. And with my latest purchase at the lower spot prices now, I managed to bring my current dollar cost average to just $33.28, a difference of almost $1. And this brings my current investment capital value to my silver line rounds, these 22 ounces here, at approximately 732 Singapore dollars or 521 US dollars. I have no idea if this is a positive thing for me or not. However, if silver continues on this downward trend, I will try to continue to add uh, these uh, Malayan rounds to my silver stack. Well, I've returned uh, all the Malayan rounds into the tube over here. As you can see, it's already full with 17 rounds, so I've added the remaining 5 in this tube. I've mentioned in my previous video, uh, because the tube only holds uh, 17 silver rounds, that I will stop uh, purchasing uh, this Malayan, or I was actually considering stopping uh, buying the Malayas and changing to something else. However, even with the uh, downward trend in the spot prices, 
the premium for the silver bullion coins are still uh, remain uh, relatively high so currently uh, it's still more uh, economically viable for me to purchase uh, these Malayan rounds uh, rather than uh, silver bullion coins uh, let me know what you all think about this and what are your silver stacking strategy uh, moving forwards uh, leave your comment in the comment section below and share that with all of us here well with that i guess that's going to do it for this quick video uh, thank you very much for watching hope you all uh, weren't uh, too distressed <laughs> learning about my silver stacking strategy and that perhaps i'm doing uh, something right uh, stacking all these metals in my investment portfolio if you do have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below otherwise uh, don't forget to leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons uh, down here if you have not done so as always uh, from all my friends here you all please take care be safe and have a nice day